Hello viewers, and here we are taking a look at Monster Truck Championship on the Xbox Series X. Uh, again, it's been a while in production. They finished off the main game and they've now come back with upgrades to the Xbox and PS5 versions. I'm going to check out my first run on the Xbox Series X here, see how we get on. So we're aware now that it's going to run at 60 FPS. Uh, and again, big trucks, big action, big graphics. Fun to play last year, also with a wheel, though uh, it'd be interesting to know how the game compares uh, in terms of real life and how they run the rear wheels. It's something I don't have uh, experience of myself, uh, having never driven a monster truck like this. The game does, does take some getting used to uh, in terms of the weight and scale of the trucks. And there's a variety of things you can do in there as I get taken out as well. So first things first, what, what hits me is I'm having a dreadful start to this race. What hits me here is obviously frame rate is much improved over the base Xbox version. And it's nice to have essentially PC quality frame rate. I mean, I'm running this on my PC on a GTX 1080 and essentially you're getting that that here. I'm being taken out, completely taken out by scumbag in the green truck then and a nice view of the environments as well. Audio is impressive throughout uh, and there are several different viewpoints and we'll change viewpoints in just a moment when we get the hang of the vehicle here. So over the jump and Yep, fun to play, works well, similar to the PC version. You have the cockpit cam as well. You can see that in action here. Gives you that immersive action. You can't turn your head with the other stick. Lots of arm action, as I think I've overdone it slightly there. Into the barrier. Oh, slightly overdone the jump there, so I'm going to have to take it easy. What other views do we have? We've got the bumper cam that's about 10 foot high, as you'd expect. And again, this green truck getting in my way. It's sometimes hard to gauge the feeling of speed in these trucks. I mean, they're quicker than they look because you are quite high above the ground. And you can steer with the rear wheels as well. So generally that's better for obstacles than it is for actual racing. Find yourself much quicker. There is also a distant view. So if you want to see the full view of your truck in action, you can see it there with the independent suspension and everything else they've got working. Uh, now there is a range of tracks. Uh, all with uh, varying styles and approach. The game is not easy to play. It is quite challenging. And as I race around here, gradually getting uh, my, he my head around it again, uh, you have to be quite sensitive with it in terms of maximizing your run. So that's a look at the first race. Uh, we're going to take a look at some other challenges and other aspects of the game. Let's see what else it has in store. So next, you also have uh, the various stadium runs as well. One-on-one -on -one runs. Uh, various complexity and difficulty in knockout tournaments. Uh, release the handbrake, hold the brake, and release the start. Ah, oh, wow. Bit slow there. Uh, getting this right, once you get your head in the right place with it, it does become a bit of a knack. Uh, and again, this is where you do use those rear wheels just to tip yourself into the corner, give those vital seconds. It can be very close between the various trucks as well. Another key aspect of the racing. Quite enjoyed this, actually. The various stadiums, they have dirt stadiums and in terms of various different gravel and, and jumps and complexity and the full swapping sides, it can make a bit of a difference as well. It's interesting how you may be better at going left than right in some cases, just getting the swing right on the various trucks. So again, running really well. And we'll look at a comparison of this between the different versions on the standard Xbox as well as Xbox Series X. Uh, but obviously it's much more like the pc version now as well so we're just going to continue in this got one more run in this run let's see how we get on better this time over revved it before I was just uh, getting mixed up where my rev counter was but this time no problem oh I've overdone it though on the turn it's gonna be close oh just about made it then as well and as soon as you lose your revs, it kind of bogs down uh, and there's all that power to get control of. So you really do need to get that just right. And we've got the final. So let's see how we get on with the final on this bit of uh, Monster Truck Championship. And we'll look at a couple of races and I'll have a couple of race runs at the end of this video as well and a bit of a chat about the game. Okay, another perfect start this time. Oh, hitting the wall. That's it. It's over. It's over. 
tried to get in too tight making a mistake this time so it shows you really got to put in some practice on some of these and then you'll get it you'll get it nailed i was well ahead that time actually i should have just taken it easy but there we go we give them a little bump uh, and we continue in our championship as well so second place not too bad we move on let's see how we uh develop further on in the championship well it only gets more difficult and i'm useless at the freestyle we'll see how i get on with this as well a uh, bit of freestyle i'm not good at the freestyle i've never been any good at freestyle on monster truck games um so a bit of racing here and uh, there we are a big jump to kick off with uh big jumps are fun and we can do with the old flip flipperoo there we are lovely look at that with fireworks in your face there we are beautiful beautiful to see that and then it's just lots of lumping and bumping and landing and crashing over objects there we go just crash over the object crowd love a bit of that bit of monster bumping crushing action don't fall over that's it there we are that's where the rear wheel control really comes in handy a bit of a jump onto these ones okay that's all right it wasn't quite where i wanted it to be and over these cars we love just running over cars beautiful there we are what is a monster truck when it's not running over cars and doing some donuts for the audience as well so we're getting on to a a, a dirty race as it's entitled here and a drag race let's see how we get on let's see how we go on here in a different drag race stadium uh, again different challenges to all these uh here we've got a couple of hairpins always tricky especially as you power your vehicles up it really does make a big difference to the performance in the vehicles so let's try again now again nice graphics nice detail nice environment lots there ah uh, oh, oversteered again let's may, may as well restart this time we can restart because we're at the beginning of the event we could have done it before and won it by i figured no viewers i figured we would just jump on and uh, get the job done like right, let's go again Oh, here we go. Oh, I wasn't ready. I'm ready. It's starting me on the other side this time just to just to muck me around. Oh, I'm still not getting it right. So maybe we shouldn't use the rear the rear at all on that corner because it seems to unbalance. I thought a little touch of rear might help flick in the truck Vegas, into the corner. The but uh, it's all technique. So let's see if we can figure this out. turn all right so a flick of a flick of rear rather than any kind of real rear steering required there generally just turning controlling the power no rear at all there for sure and there we are better run this time is it the better truck game that's going to be the question that is the question is it the better truck game uh i think that for me uh they both have pros and cons and this feels more realistic to me than uh than the other than the uh monster jam steel titans 2 the monster jam steel titans 2 was a lot of fun uh, i think they're both mid-scale developments you know they don't take they don't take the uh uh what are we what are we doing here let's continue event do you want to continue the ongoing event continue event uh i think that still truck games the still titans uh, game is more is, is more of a fun game more relaxed fun in different ways uh this is a little bit more simmy it's what it's trying to simulate the actual real monster truck racing events uh i think that it's, they're, they're both designed for fans of monster trucks at the end of the day so i don't know if they're going to appeal to people outside of that so much you know i, I don't think this is ever going to be a huge monster truck game that's going to where you know these games are all going to appeal to everybody uh they're just not you know they have a very niche audience uh, but i think they're fun to play uh you know i mean i've quite enjoyed my streams doing them 
as, as they go. Uh, and seeing it running so well here on the Xbox. I just about won that. That was a close one as well, wasn't it? Uh, runs great. So at least you get the proper experience. Do they both have wheel support? There's a question that comes up now and again. This game has works with the wheel. The monster, the, the Steel Titans works with Thrustmaster and Logitech, but not Fnatic. Uh, so I can't, I haven't tested it for wheel. But both games use a strange, I would say, I mean, I haven't used the other one, but th this game is strange to drive with a wheel because you don't have rear wheel control. And I have no idea how they do that in the real truck. So I couldn't really comment on how they could implement that or make that work or what controls you would need. But there is no way to obviously control the rear when you're you're driving normally. However, I've got some racing videos of it on YouTube of me just driving normally. And I found it relatively straightforward. It's a different type of control. You don't need to control the rear when you're racing in particular. You just got to use the weight to swing to swing the truck round uh, and use just be a little stab of the brakes and use a bit of weight and turn it in that way so there is a bit of that uh, and that's how best to use it but uh either way uh, enjoy some of these challenges and you know, it's a nice nice little uh break and a win as well i think we've got the finals here we have the finals now do we this is the finals viewers second finals let's see how we get on with this one Right, perfect start this time. And just pushing it down the back straight. Oh, completely going too fast. And winning that comfortably in the end, surprisingly. So the other one just definitely made a mistake somewhere. But either way... Um, worked out well a good win viewers a good win uh, and we showed that we we made that mistake in the earlier challenge and we've come through uh, and it's worked out well for us as well so that's pretty handy okay so it's a chance to have a look at some of the uh, uh the tutorial mode now that's in the game as well getting used to driving a monster truck it's all here uh, in some depth to get you into the game what it's all about as well let's take a look at this area it's a nice play area as well that they have available for you so stuck in i wasn't looking at what i was supposed to do there it doesn't matter you drive around for a bit and then you have this nice play area as well as following all the different tasks donuts donuts are round objects going through the various arches that are here uh, and just generally getting used to driving your truck at speed in all conditions so really nice there's lots of assault course things to look at here again just a nice addition don't do that don't do that that's not good no, but uh, you all will do better watching that, I'm sure. So I'm going to leave you with some gameplay now, uh, various gameplay from uh, the recent stream I've been doing on the game. And uh, you'd see there'll be various elements shown there. But as far as the Xbox Series X version is concerned, it's nice to see an upgrade of uh, a standard console game to this standard to 60 FPS, use a little bit of the power of the new consoles. I think it could have been better than this even. I think they could have even run even higher settings. But either way, runs relatively well. I've seen a few sticks in frame rate here and there. But hopefully they can patch that out. But other than that, for the most part, it's running way better than the console versions did run. And it bodes well for mid-sized publishers in terms of getting their games running at 60 FPS uh, you know, on, on these new consoles. And getting that smooth PC experience for the living room TV. So nice that they've done it. Uh, it's a fun game, and I'm going to leave you with some gameplay just from my recent stream. But um, that's it from me for now. As ever, more soon. There's also team management in there, this is where you can which you can see here. Uh, you can employ your team managers as it goes on. This kind of reminds me a little bit of WRC9 in the way it's been integrated. Uh, but I've covered all this in the PC version, so I, I thought to myself, I don't want to go into massive detail. The question is... How does the game run? It's the game we've already covered before, but running on the uh, PC. Now, I, I did do a video running on the Switch version, and I was impressed at what they managed to get out of the Switch, actually. This was, this was relatively impressive for the Switch. So, uh, let's back up. We're kind of stuck now, unfortunately, in this chat screen. 
More practice is required on this. I'm not using a steering wheel. That's my excuse. That's my excuse every time. Fifth place. Improvements to be made. So we'll see what else we have in store. More freestyle. I've got to finish higher up in the order, have I? All right. Another run. Another run. So you want to do these big jumps, it seems. It's all about the big jumps. Let's do the flip. Okay, that didn't work out for me, did it? From the sound of the engine, you can tell it's definitely damaged. That's never a good sign. The engine is on fire. That's all right. We're okay. All righty. So we're learning. We're learning. I've not had the engine on fire on the PC version before. So that's something new. The fire effects are quite cool as well. See if we can get enough speed to do a flipperoo. Whatever it's called. No, no, we just. We've got it all happening. Got it all happening. Right, let's. Uh, Point fifty-five. We're running out of time. Running out of time to uh, smash stuff up. See if we can get another jump in. Engine's not gonna. Have much more in it. What a beast. Now, what's interesting about this is that uh, we've had like two monster truck games come out at the same time. Uh, it's been sort of a long time since we've had much in the way of monster truck games. Now we've got two competing. It's always funny that, isn't it? And these games have been in development for a long time. So it's a it's a it's a funny one when you think about how long you know uh, how long it's been since we've had any monster truck games and we have two come at the same time so a bit of freestyle a bit of freestyle gaming there we're on to a dirty race now let's do a dirty race uh, that sounds much more enjoyable so looking at a race mode another race i i think this is a better track than the other track that, that you sort of start with it's a bit more interesting i wasn't looking at my my rpm as it were at all then Oh, I'm not going to the back of him. Oh, contact, heavy contact. Oh, look, he's really, he doesn't like me, does he? Holding me, uh, hanging me out to dry, taking track position. Have some of that. Oh, didn't work out for me either. Oh, uh, well, that's going to knock us down into the field. Uh, we should have won this, but we've been taken down. Ah, uh, damn, didn't know that was jutting out. So that's a bit of a loss there in this championship. How many laps? Lap one of two. We may may have enough time if we haven't damaged the truck too much to come back into it. Let's take a big getting used to it. He's very sensitive. Ah, uh, we're coming into this well. We're looking good on the inside. Uh, so hard to control so you've got to get the control right you have to be quite progressive with the trucks to uh, get the most out of them surprisingly gentle with them uh, they do have a lot of power up on the inside this time he was crashing into us all the way he wasn't going to let us pass and now the trucks lost it that's a real shame ah uh, so third place is the best we can hope for at this stage Pumping the throttle through the corner. So much quicker than these guys. We just haven't been able to get past. And that's it. Into second place. We'll take that. Given the race we've had. We could have won that easily. There we are. So. That's a bit of racing action as well there. And let's take a look at some other elements. Hello viewers, well thanks for watching the video today. Do like and subscribe, it supports what we do. Do become a YouTube member, YouTube Patreon supports all of our content you see on the channel and of course lots of gaming from retro to modern games. I love it all in terms of racing action. So click on one of the two videos just there to find out more.